Let's practice testing to see whether a given x value is a solution to an equation. In this case, the given x value is 3, and the equation is 4x plus 2 equals 14. We're going to test the x value of 3 to see if it's a solution to this equation. So the first thing that we want to do is take 3 and plug it in for x. And so instead of x, we're going to have 4 times 3 plus 2 equals 14. And now we'll simplify and see if the two sides really are equal. Well, on the left, we're going to multiply 4 times 3. That gives us 12. 12 and we still have 2. And that is supposed to equal 14. And yes, 12 plus 2 equals 14. The left-hand side equals the right-hand side. And so this is a solution. Let's look at another one. Let's see if x equals 1 is a solution to the equation 2 times x plus 4 equals x plus 6. So again, we're going to take 1 and we're going to plug it in for x on both sides of the equation. On the left hand side, we need to add the two numbers in the parentheses first. So that's going to give us 2 times 5. And on the right, we'll just add 1 and 6 to get 7. Now on the left hand side, we have 2 times 5, which we know is 10. And on the right hand side, we have 7. Those two sides of the equation are not equal. And so it turns out that x equals 1 is not a solution. Let's look at another one. Let's see if x equals, equals 0 is a solution to this equation. Again, the first thing that we need to do is plug in 0 everywhere there's an x in the equation. So we'll have 1 third times 0 minus 6 plus 4 equals 3 halves times 0 plus 2. And now let's evaluate both sides and see if they really are equal. On the left hand side we'll get 1 third times negative 6 plus 4 and on the right hand side we have 3 halves times 0, that's just 0, plus 2 so that leaves us with 2. On the left hand side again we have 1 third times negative 6 which gives us a negative 2 plus 4 and that's supposed to equal 2 and in fact negative 2 plus 4 does equal 2 and so x equals 0 is the solution to this equation. Alright, let's look at one more. Here we have x, x equals minus 2, and we want to see if it's the solution to the, the equation x minus 2 equals 11 minus 8x. So the first thing we're going to do is plug in minus 2 for x on the left hand side, and then we'll plug in minus 2 for x on the right hand side. On the left hand side that leaves us minus 2 minus 2 which is minus 4. On the right hand side that leaves us 11 minus 8 times negative 2. Since we have two negatives and we multiply them together that's going to give us a positive 16. So we have negative 4 equals 11 plus 16. But we know that's not true because 11 plus 16 is 27. So x equals negative 2 is not a solution.